sale, 3 Tinbridge Oast, Fathersham. On the outskirts of the town, 5 minutes from the centre and high speed train to London, Fathersham's a beautiful little market town with a great history. Um, it's 10 minutes from the beach or 15 minutes from here, which is Whitstable, a lovely seaside resort. And it's surrounded by woods and fields and walkways and bridleways. It really is quite amazing. This is surrounding it now, as you can see. So we got out to the Medway there, and then this way is where the sun rises early in the morning, straight through the windows on that side. It used to be an oast, so this was the hops, which is still grown in the fields nearby. And they, the oast used to belong to Shepherd Neem, which is the longest continuous running brewery in the whole of England, which is still in the town. Um, this is Fathersham Creek and has quite a long history as well. Uh, sailing's quite popular and you could sail to France if you wanted. Now this is the Oast. We're on the left hand side there, so I'll show you inside and show you around and explain it all to you. Now it's four stories, roughly about 36 square meters per level, or six by six meters. This is the external private garden. So it's low maintenance, it's paved on the bottom and it's fenced with a gate there. And so you've got a privacy, you can do whatever you like here. Um, then going down towards the front door, which is sort of set back, the third garage from the, the end is ours, and there's also another car parking space for us. This is the vestibule, which has storage there as we go in, and then you come into the entrance here. So this bottom level is basically self-contained. Uh, there's a bedroom here um, with a giant storage cupboard on the side there. It's actually got a desk inside it at the moment, and then directly across is a modern bathroom. So actually all the bathrooms here are all nice and modern. So bathroom, toilet, sink, and there's a shower there as well. And they were recently renovated, same with the other one upstairs. Another storage there just on your right, and then you go through to the utilities room, which has two cupboards for storage. Um, that one, as you can see there, and then just directly behind us underneath the stairs is another one. Now, back into the entrance hall. And then we'll go up to the sort of main living area, which is the next floor up. So it's an open plan, lounge, dining, and kitchen. So nice modern kitchen, big area for a giant table if you need it, or a big family. There's two windows on this side, so always nice and bright. And then as we swing around over the lounge, there's the other window on the other side. So even in winter, you're not looking at anybody. You can have the windows open and it's bright and airy and, and feels quite good. The kitchen is great. That big double um, fridge is included and so is the, the stove oven, which has got three ovens in it. So it's a, a really good kitchen if you like to cook. This area is fantastic just for lounging while people are preparing dinner or whatever. We spend a lot of time here and it's kind of a buffer between the bottom floor and above. Um, so it's really quite a good meeting spot. This level, you could kind of arrange it any way you want. At the moment, there's three different rooms, or the three different rooms. That used to be a nursery in here, but now, as you can see, it's quite a, a large craft room. So there's two desks there, and there's um, cupboards as well, and shelving. And then also there's a double, right there, it's a double depth um, storage, which is a, plenty of room for doing things. So this could be another bedroom easily. And then coming across the other side, the other one, which is now an office, but could be a, a tiny nursery or just even an office. Again, has decent storage in there, and we've got you know, plenty of things up and around and it's easy to get through. This was the guest bedroom, but it's also sort of tea room. That is a fold-out double bed, which is plenty of room. Again, aspects, this is where the sun comes in in the morning and just lights this up, it's beautiful. Huge storage as well. Actually, that's the drying cupboard, so that's there. Back to the landing, which we've got a, another storage in there and we'll go up to the top floor this is the landing on the top floor which is sort of like a little library alcove reading room the main master bedroom there and then actually this is the other the bathroom other modern bathroom and this is really lovely so very big and wide bath shower combination with a sort of auto you know just press the buttons to the right temperature every time and this is back to your little alcove here the master bedroom is actually the only, I think it is the only room that doesn't have any built-in wardrobes or anything like that, but it's huge and you can always put some if you wanted. But 
it's really good. So it's built up in the roof, so it's got a really high ceiling. So this is as you, you know, sort of wake up in the morning to the aspect here. So it feels very open and airy, even though it's quite private because it's only sort of got the light, the skylight out to the roof. The other thing that you do have, if you wanted, and we've always thought about it, was I'll show you in a second, is up here is the attic. So the attic, because the roof is so steep and high, you can actually stand up and there's plenty of storage and room there if you wanted to put some flooring in. All right, I'll show you out to the backyard. The, the basic communal area. So you've got your private little garden outside, and then we'll take you outside. So you can see it's four stories. With uh, yeah. Now this is the the communal area. So everything's taken care of. The lawn, the maintenance, and everything just for the small sort of monthly fee. Uh, there's a gazebo, drying place. There's a little vegetable garden if you want. And this area is quite large, so we've had parties and marquees and everything out there. All Everybody has their own little space, but then we all sort of come together. And everyone here is an owner, and there's families here, there's age groups from, well, I think, about two upwards. And so it's, it's very good. It's a nice, safe area here. This is the land from above, so you can see the space and where everything is. And if you want to do the virtual tour yourself, you can just scan that on your phone. Or if you want to speak to someone, you can call this number or just email the gatehouse and they'll give you all the information. If you'd like to come and see it for yourself, please give them in contact and we'll hope to see you soon. It's an amazing place.